Happy International is one of the largest manufacturers of educational toys in the world. A global phenomenon with more than 40 subsidiaries, Happy Toys also sold in over 100 countries through more than 8,000 retail stores. Hi, my name is Peter Einstein, and uh, thanks for inviting me today. Toys have been a tough business in the recent years, and the pandemic driven lockdowns of retail operation made for us an extremely challenging environment. Historically, we had an access to 8,000 retail stores and retail channels all over the world. This makes up a of what we are today, and it drives us forward. In just the past few years, we have seen many significant players who had directly connection to the consumers through brick and mortar stores their locations are not longer in business. This has forced us to rethink what the right model for the business is. We have to adjust ourselves to the ever-changing market, to the demand and to the new way of working by applying a strategy to protect our future business. For me, omni-channel is the way forward is the way forward to the direct to the consumer e-tailing powered by Maersk. one of the things that really attracts us or me to Maersk is their approach to look for new path because it's completely aligned with ours as a part of his new omnichannel strategy the happy leadership team has decided to make the play in North America direct to consumer sales for the first time. The strategy entails setting up an e-commerce capable website supporting by a US-based supply chain. Integral the plan we robust warehousing fulfillment capability and most important a last mile network can quickly land products right on the customer's doorstep. Today, a dedicated team of Mars, especially their program manager and customer experience personnel, are in the place to ensure all modes are in supply chain remain seamless connected. But for me, the most valuable aspect of any working relationship is the customer service. The service and the support we receive from Mars is incredible. Before COVID, you know, shipping between Ningbo, China and Los Angeles may have only taken like two weeks. Then it turned into two months and then 20 weeks. After all in all, NUC was not an acceptable option for sourcing a container, a truck, a warehouse space. There were so many disconnections across the supply chain where we had shipping, we didn't have containers. Where we have containers, we didn't have truck drivers and all and all. Lead time getting longer and longer and happy customers were getting unhappy. Happy first approached Maersk's Asian Pacific commercial team back actually in 2021 when we were faced with constrained availability for ocean solution. Hape happened to learn about Maersk's massive North America capability to deliver a sustainable and cost-efficient end-to-end logistics solution that actually aligned to Hape's business B2C objectives. Given that Hape had not previously conducted e-commerce logistic operation in the U.S., Securing a reliable partner in the country with a deep knowledge of how to implement such a strategy was very essential. Maersk and its new strength e-commerce logistic division laid out a comprehensive solution that aligned to Hape's business strategy. Over the longer term, Hape benefits by operating within a stable and a transparent logistics budget with the capability of scaling inventory to match the customer demand. Within its new omnichannel strategy now in place, Happy is better aligned, maintain the quality standards it has set for the brand while staying aligned 
to modern consumer buying habit. In addition, by going direct to consumer, Happy is able to reduce exposure to the risk of future disruption or potential underperformance of traditional offline retail sales channel. Any issue we raise with our program manager gets answered within hours. We can feel a significant amount of cross-department coordination taking place at Maersk, where every party is working together on our behalf to get the products into the hands to the consumers.